Harry, Harry, this is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto was a reincarnation of Sosuke Aizen. Sosuke Aizen. So, last time where I, where I left off was where, well, let me do a recap. Naruto, he played dumb for about, well, eight years. Of course, at four years old, he, uh, he did help Hinata just defeat the bullies pretty easily. Naruto has trained... For like eight years in total, when he turns twelve and all that, he ha does get all the like power and fragments and memories of his previous life being so skyzen, and how the person that managed to defeat him was Ichigo, sort of. Well, yeah, Ichigo and a bunch of soul reapers and all that. But in this one, this world they don't really have soul reapers, so of course. Naruto would be like, this is a perfect world <laughs> to become a god. So, Naruto, he does turn 12 after that. He defeats everyone so easily. He defeats Sasuke and his fangirls by easily just shutting them the hell up. Now, he still plays on Team 7. And of course, they did a C-rank mission. Naruto breaks the sword of Zabuza so easily and destroys Zabuza. Was about to kill Haku, but then just let him go. And then... Naruto went against Gato and his man. And an s rank ninja named... Uh, K K Kakazu... I don't know if he had an S. But yeah, Kakazu. So, the undead. Naruto easily defeats Kakazu and also killed Gato. Naruto's place as a b rank ninja. Not really high enough. Naruto said, but he doesn't care that much. So... I did mention that Naruto has just went to his house. No, let me now continue from there. Naruto is now calling to the office for their actual another C rank mission. Since Haruzen did see the power of Naruto firsthand defeating an S rank ninja, he decides to put Naruto in another C rank ninja. Uh, yeah, yeah, C rank mission. Now Naruto goes to. Okay, sorry, I came back. Um, worst time for uh someone to go live stream when in the middle of recording and thinking, which should I do first? Record and finish this like what if? I mean, what this part of the what if? Or go watch a live stream. And I actually decided to go finish this uh, recording and all that. So yeah, so let me go into Sasuke Eisen. Or, well, yeah, Naruto slash Sasuke Eisen. Now... Of course, he's called to the meeting of a C-Rank mission. So the C-Rank mission is uh, Kakashi telling them to go watch a movie. Naruto ignores the movie and doesn't really care about the movie. He doesn't care about the mission at all. He just doesn't care about anything. What he does instead is just walk around the... Uh... He walks around the town, of course. Uh, Kakashi... It's just doing something else. Sasuke and Sasuke are watching the movie and all that. Naruto gets back to the... Um, well, he doesn't actually go around the village. Well, he does, but he disappears. He disappears back into Wakamundo. He knows how to get into Wakamundo and out of Wakamundo. Because he has all his fragment memories. So he goes into Wakamundo and sees that there are still a lot of hollows around. And Aizen, well, Naruto slash Aizen, is now just thinking, I should probably build up my army. Well, I'm about to do that. He then snaps his fingers and a bunch of, like, hollows come, even the grande mundos, or, I mean, grandes, like, come. And they just look at Naruto, who is Aizen. And Aizen just says, hello there, hollows. You probably don't even miss me that much. Well... I got destroyed by Hollow Ichi by Ichigo. So yeah. I just came here to see if you people want to become stronger. Some some of the hollows said yes. Some of them are still savage creatures and yeah, you get the point. In order to wipe them out. Wiped out the not wipe out the savage creatures and I. But also picked some of them to become the new Espadas. Well not new Espadas, the new elites. Of his army and all that. The spotters he's still kind of choosing. Either he wants to make them. 
We want to bring back the old Espadas or make new Espadas. So Naruto says, I will think about that later. So Naruto goes back into the Naruto world. And Naruto, he is just walking around. Of course, the movie ended and Naruto goes back to where Sasuke and Sasuke were at. Sasuke wasn't like showing blah 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 interest in the movie or anything. Well, he's interesting. But he's not that interesting. Now, Sasuke is the one just being annoying. And Naruto says, shut up already. I'm trying to think. And Sasuke shuts up. Now, of course, a whole, uh, the whole thing with like the horses and all that comes and all that. But Sasuke and Sasuke reacts. Naruto doesn't care. He's just walking behind all that. Now, Kakashi managed to manage to come after Sasuke and Sasuke managed to defeat all the people and all that. Naruto did not want to go towards where Sasuke and Sasuke went to defeat them all. Naruto saw, well he was just walking around, saw this horse and this like female that was like looking at the water and all that. And Naruto was right behind her, like sort of walking towards her. And of course, you can't really hear anything from Naruto, like Naruto is so quiet, like he's he can just walk and just quiet. Second like assassin. Naruto says, uh, well, let me say that again. Says, hello there. Are you okay? You look sort of sad, in, I guess. And the actor says, who are you? Are you someone to try to take me back towards the directors and blah, blah, blah? Naruto says, I don't think so. I don't know about what my mission is. My sensei is a lazy bastard, so he's always late and everything, and doesn't tell us what mission it is. So, it's probably not. The mission's probably not even to actually take you anything. I'm just wondering, why are you so, sort of, sad looking? And she says, none of your concern. And then Aizen says, okay, and I can care less. Naruto then just says, hmm... Yeah, I care less. Like, now, Naruto just, like, instead of walking closer to her, he, like, goes back and just goes to the village. He sees the horse, and Naruto says, Interesting horse there you have there. It seems like the thing where, like, those people were chasing after you, and my team has decided to defeat them for no reason. I know that you're only an actress with the whole movie thing of blah, blah, blah. I can care less. Then the actress just noticed and Naruto can care less about anything. So the actress decides to follow Naruto. Naruto saying, why are you following me? The actress says, you're not like any other normal person, which they ask me either about an autograph or something because how I'm an actress, someone like in the movies and all that. Do you know anything what like actresses and actors do for the movies and all that? Naruto says, yeah, be, hmm, how should I say, all fakes, there's nothing, nothing real about it, a ninja has more realistic than that, we steal, we kill, we murder, and all that, you're talking to a shinobi, okay, someone that already defeated an S-rank ninja, now of course, Koyoki doesn't know what an S-rank ninja is, and Naruto says, you probably don't know what that is, whatever, why are you following me anyway? Koyoki says that I'm just following you because I'm surprised that you actually don't care about whatever. Naruto says, so what? Uh. Now Naruto is, he kind of grew a little bit more taller. He's now 5'6". Just because he trained also before, when he came back and all that. So Naruto's a little bit tall and all that. And um... They're just walking, and of course, Kakashi found Naruto with Koyoki, and Kakashi just like landed right in front of, uh, what's it called, Naruto, and says, Naruto, we gotta get that person that's right next to you towards the director. That is our mission, to protect or whatever. And Koyoki was like, I knew it, this is something for our mission. Naruto says, you can't have her, uh, Kakashi. I'm gonna look around the village more. 
And Kakashi face palms and just says, Naruto, this is the mission. And Naruto says, it's not a mission for me to care about. It's not an S rank uh, mission. And yeah, an S rank mission. It's only a C rank. I should care less about it. And so Kakashi was like, God damn it, Naruto. So when Naruto just walked around, of course, Kakashi just shined on Kaoki and then told Naruto to meet him in the boat. So, of course, the boat starts leaving and all that. And Kakashi's, like, sort of freaking out where the hell Naruto is. Naruto is just floating in the sky. He's saying, Kakashi, what are you doing? Why are you freaking out? And the directors that were sort of, like, doing the movie and all that, just looked up and see this floating person. And Kakashi's saying, you can fly? Naruto says, well, of course, yes. What, you can't? Use chakra to try to jump. And Kakashi says, that's bullshit. Chakra won't even let you fly that much. Then he thinks about it, unless you're the stone kite. But that doesn't matter. Naruto isn't from the stone village. Hmm. Like, he's trying to think, but he can't really think. Now, Naruto, he didn't care less. So, he just walking away. Well, I mean, he went back and then just said... I would stay, uh, what's called, awoke to actually see anything will happen. Kakashi says, you need your rest, Naruto. N Naruto then says, I don't really need to sleep. My body changed after a while. Really, sleeping is nothing for me to do. I don't need sleep at all to work. And Kakashi was confused what he meant. Naruto says, I don't need to sleep. So, of course, Naruto is just staying awake the whole day until the next day happened. And, um, the director says, we're going to record on that giant ice mountain. Yeah. Kaioki is recording, blah, blah, blah. The actress is trying to record, blah, blah, blah. And then three snow ninjas come. The big guy, like, tries to fight against, what's it called, Naruto and all that. But also the pink hair and Kakashi taking on the leader. Like, Naruto looks at the big guy and says, You're none of my concern. Walk. Be gone, weakling. And of course, the big guy tries to punch Naruto. Naruto just blocks it with one finger. And the big guy was just confused. He's like, what? Naruto says, interesting. Snap his fingers. Destroys. Well, like, bigger gashes around the big guy's body is all over. Even the little crystal circle, like, in their stomach and all that. Yeah, that thing was shattered into a million pieces. Like, Naruto can care less about anything. The pink-haired girl was just flying and all that. And, of course, like, sort of... It's called doing some ice juice and all that. And Naruto saw that this person was so annoying. That he kind of did a riff in the middle of battle and all that. And what happened to her? A giant sort of, like... I was just say tank, tank, or whatever. Kind of, well, yeah. It's because one of the hollows that uh, Naruto summons to bring Wake of Moon and all that. One of the uh, tentacles kind of grabbed her and like took her into the portal. She's already being killed. Now, Naruto says that's easy. Now we go on to the um, leader. The leader goes and does an ice well. Of course, everyone is on the boat except for Naruto. Naruto destroys both ice wheels, with just instantly flicking his hand, or just, yeah, flicking his hand. And the leader was like, what the? Naruto says, interesting. You really think you're that powerful enough to defeat me? You're nothing but a weakling. A weakling to a god. Kakashi's like, god damn it, Naruto's just strong. Naruto says, you will be the first to see my sword. Now... Naruto, he pulls out his sword, and then everyone sees the sword and all that. If you already know what Aizen sword is, about how it can create illusions and all that, Naruto just wanted everyone to see the sword, just in case, well, anything stupid happens. And Naruto then says, well, goodbye. Slices the guy in half. We just easily, not even like... Full on just rushing him. He just easily slashes the air and kills the guy. Cut him in half. Now, Naruto. 
He is now walking away. away blah, blah. He's walking towards the boat and all that. And now they go to the snow and all that. So Koyoki is like the real person that asks, uh, not the rector, but all that. The protector kind of asks for the ninjas to help and all that. To bring Koyoki to Brat to be a princess or whatever. And, um. And Koyoki screams that she doesn't want to go back and all that. Naruto is less. He kind of pay attention. But he can care less at the same time. Now, uh, oh, uh, what's it called? Now, they go into the whole snowmobiles or whatever. And, of course, Koyoki just managed to leave and all that running away. Naruto already knew where she went with, like, easily just finding her where she's at, sensing her. And Naruto just flash steps where she's at and says, Koyoki, why are you running away half the time? And Koyoki said, I'm running away because I don't want to go. I want to leave. I don't want to do this. Naruto says, it's just such a shame for you to just run away from something that your father wanted you to do or whatever. And Koyoki screams, you don't know anything about my father. Naruto says, well, Aizen said, of course I don't know anything about your father. Do you think I would have known? I'm not the reincarnation of him. So I'm just saying, go back. I want to finish my mission already. So, yeah, they go back. Koyoki doesn't want to go back, but Naruto's just saying, this is stupid. Like, he had to carry her and all that. Aizen doesn't want to carry anyone. Like, he can care less. Of course, Naruto hears a boat. Like, well, not boat. A train coming. And Naruto just flashes step into the front of the uh, thing. And he's just walking still. A train did stop in the front of where Naruto's hat. But Naruto already knew this was going to happen. And, well, Koyoki's uncle said, Oh, Koyoki, give me that crystal, that hollow crystal, whatever thing. Hoto crystal, whatever. And Koyoki says, No. And Naruto says, Interesting. What's with the train? And Dovidav, or whatever, says, If you don't give me the crystal, then I'll kill that ninja. Naruto says, Kill me, please, like if you could. So a bunch of, sh like, kunai, shurikens, and all that just launch at Naruto. Naruto just puts his one finger and says, Hado, number 119. Like, bunch of, like, a uh, barrier just comes and blocks all the kunais. And Do Doto and everyone is shocked. Naruto just blocks it. And then Naruto, with just snap of his finger again, just gets rid of all the kunais. Like, he launched them back. Well, not, uh, doesn't like snap the fingers, he just slaps the air and all of them go back. Slicing, one, just hitting the uh, train and all that. The Boto almost got hit by multiple of them. And Naruto just says, interesting, this train is still, well, how should I say, intact. Hmm, and I got this. Naruto looks in the sky and says, Wicamundo, Grandes. So multiple Grandes kind of come out. And grabs the train. Just throwing them each around and all that. The one that Toboto was on. He had to jump off the train before he got launched into somewhere. And Toboto was like, what the, who the hell are you, brat? Naruto walks forward to him, uh, towards him. Of course, Toboto like takes off with like black cloak and all that. And shows his like power gear or whatever. Naruto says, oh please. Something I've seen already and destroyed your... I guess three elite snow ninjas. What is your difference of power? And then the Boto just summons a uh, dark blizzard dragon to hit Naruto. That didn't even affect Naruto. It just smashes and it kind of just splits into multiple halves. Naruto says, oh please. Like if that could actually affect me. Hollow. I mean, not hollow. Hollow. Number 357. Multiple like spears just launch, not spears, swords launch into Daboto, but hitting him mostly in that whole uh, spear, sealer, not spear, sealer thing right there, the whole yin yang thing, 
smashing his like gear and already breaking it. And the bottle was like, what the? How did you do that? What are you? And Naruto says, bow down before your king. And the bottle says, you think you can defeat me or something? Uh, Ryatsu just smash him to the ground. Naruto says, either you bow down or die. And says, i rather fucking dies. Naruto says, what a bunch of weak he is. Oh, shit. I have to go get my seven ashes. Oh, well, I'm going to have to end it off here. Have a nice potato day. Potato night. Potato seed. Potato, potato. Yeah, potato.